Here's the top three exercises to make you faster that you can do at home and with no equipment. This is video one of my new speed training series I'm going to call Like Lightning, and in this series we're going to go over exercises to make you faster, drills to increase your neuromuscular adaptations to be geared more towards speed, and also the mechanics of running. Studies have shown that the proper application of force is more important than just producing high amounts of force. And that's all speed training is, is increasing your rate of force production, but also learning how to properly apply that increased rate of force production. Our first exercise is going to be squats, one of the granddaddy of all exercises. However, it's not going to be just a normal body squat. You're going to come down, but whenever you go back up, you're going to explode upward, even through your calves and ankles, and it's almost like you're going to end on a calf raise, because you've got to train your body to take the strength that you have and convert that into speed. And this is a great way to train those fast twitch muscle fibers to work, to engage, to activate, and that way everything's firing in the sequence that it should be when you're actually running. Now, if you're a beginner, you'll want to start with like two sets of like five to 10 reps. It's important to understand that if you've never done this before, or if it's been a long time since you've done it, your muscles not only have to, you know, work, be engaged and get stronger, but your tendons need time to strengthen as well. So if you're a beginner, do two sets of five to 10 reps. If you're more advanced, you can go to three sets of like 10 to 15 reps. Exercise number two is jump squats. This helps train your body to drive through the ground with maximal force. Whenever you're doing these, don't focus on pushing yourself up, focus on pushing the ground down. Really drive your feet into the ground. And then whenever you leap off the ground and you come back down, make sure to land on your toes and softly come back down. That way you cushion the force of you going up and then come back down. See, your calves are your body's natural springs. You gotta use them the way they were designed to be used. And whenever you jump up, make sure you land as softly. Whenever you land, you almost wanna reset and then do the next one. If you're a beginner, you'll do about two sets of five. And then if you're more advanced, you'll do about three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Now. Why do I keep giving beginner and more advanced? Because again, like I said before, that you, you want to train your muscles, that's right, but you also want to train your tendons. And tendon strength develops more slowly than muscular strength does. Exercise number three is split squats. Sprinting is a single leg activity, and this will help train your body and mind to push more powerfully off just a single leg. If you're a beginner, do one set of like five to eight reps, or if you're more advanced, do two sets of 10 to 15 reps. See, we dropped off, for greeters, we dropped all the way down to one set because there's a good chance you're not used to pushing off solely off just one leg. And again, we need to let those tendons, the tendon strength, rise with our muscular strength. That way we give ourselves the best strength and foundation for putting on weight, putting on higher loads, you know, more runs, more weights, whatever we have to be doing, we can train our tendons and muscles to grow simultaneously. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Again, this is video number one in my Like Lightning series. If you're watching this in the future, I'll put all of my speed training videos in that Like Lightning playlist, and I'll also link that down in the description below. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave all that down in the comments below. And remember, what you think, what you eat, and what you do all create a life of chronic health. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.